Well, I think the, the number one message is I want you to tell yourself it is perfectly all right and okay and normally to feel this way. I think many of us uh, are feeling that way or have felt that way in a time or other during, du during the crisis. So one thing is tell yourself it's perfectly okay to feel that way. Second thing is also to get in touch with the school and see what are they planning for and, and look at some of the videos they are being posting, some of the other material they're putting in the social media. That will help you a little bit more. And if you really want to take it one more step, you get in the car and drive to the school. Maybe you haven't seen the school in over six months right now. So it's good to just even park in the parking and look at the school. And if you really want to step one more, you can step in if, if the school is open and welcome the visitors to have a conversation with, with, with the schools and see what they are doing. So, I mean, these are steps, not only that I, I recommend them, but I practice them, you know. I, I, this morning I came from a school visit. I went to visit a school and perfectly as you felt, you know, it's, it's nervous to drive into school. You haven't been there for a while. What you can expect to see or to hear. But honestly, when I came in there and I saw the principal with a big smile in her face and interacted with the, with the teachers and, and they were showing me how the protocol or what they were about to do, and I spent a good time with them. But what, what, what stuck with me is, is the smiles that I've seen in their faces, the, the positive energy that I've seen. And, and you know, it just tells you that yeah, we are back. I think we are back to school, we're back to life. We're back to life and back to school. So I think do that. Please take the steps, go to see the school, talk to them. I think you will feel much, much, much more better when you have those conversations with, with the school and with other, other parents who have been into the school. Uh, more than a month ago, the government of Dubai has a very clear protocol uh, for, for schools and education. It is, it is, it's a very thorough protocol designed by specialists. And it's always been on the conservative side of things because unlike other sectors like uh, uh, we have, but this is where we have more than 300,000 kids going to school. So the, the protocol are very well designed. We had the protocol. We have communicated to the school more than a month ago. And we've requested all the schools to give us their proposals because schools are a different sizes. They are older school, they are younger school, more dense school. You know, they are vary from one to another. And, and their ability will, will, will depend on, on many factors. So we've asked the school to give us their proposals. And alhamdulillah, I think for most of the school, we already have them you know uh, good to go uh, we have reviewed their proposals we had conversation with them we have clarified what need to be clarified to them and we started last week and this week uh, preschool opening uh, visits by KHDA and other government department to make sure they understand and if they have any clarification we can answer and also for us to be on the ground and to see what is happening and after the school opens uh, we'll have again the same team from the government visiting the schools and to just to make sure that all the protocols are in place and, and, and taken care of and if there's any clarification that comes in we'll be more than happy to it so I think we are all doing our our best to ensure that the protocols that we have in place today are adhered to to the to, to, to the best they can and uh, comfort everybody uh, with them I mean, I think, look, it's a, it's a shared responsibility. We are all responsible, you know, and I think, you know, as much as we're saying the school is going to be responsible, but when we talk about the school, we talk about the principal and the leadership and the teachers, but themselves also are parents and they have kids also, you know, so, so it, it, it's, we are all responsible and I think the, 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 it, it will take all of us to come together uh, to make sure that at the very beginning uh, of, of going to school, we're all adhering to those standards because our safety is important and the safety of others is very important. But I think it's, it's, very, it's very hard to, to say, okay, whose roles are responsible? I think we are all in this together uh, because we are all parents, we are all students, we are all learning something new we haven't done before. So I think, I think and, and I'm very happy to see how everybody is coming together to make sure that, you know, uh, we are going to school uh, with all the safety majors, but also we enjoy that uh, they will enjoy an experience of going back to school. I mean, the kids have not seen their friends for over than six months right now. So I think there is also an element of joy that us there, even we will apply all the protocol, but let's don't forget the joy and the fun and, and the good feeling that we get by going and seeing our friends live. 
Uh, for teachers, uh, yes, there is a requirement to have the COVID test, and, and that's very important to us because that makes the parents more comfortable and make everybody comfortable around them. So we will starting uh, as of tomorrow all uh, tests for the teacher. We have identified about seven schools across the across Dubai where they can be going to be tested. It's a very simple test, and I think it, 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 it makes you feel good that you've done the test yourself. I, I've done the test myself yesterday. I mean, I couldn't ask for you to do it if I did and do it myself. I went to see it. It was good. Uh, I mean, it was a bit, okay, a bit funny because, you know, you, you, you get to know the ceiling of your nose and where does it stop <laughs> when, when they stick the thing up your nose. So it's fine. And I think it's a good experience. And then nice, you get the message later says, you know, you, you, this is your result and it's a negative. So uh, I think it's good to do it. It's, it's a good comforting for, for everybody. So inshallah, all the teachers and, and uh, admin of the schools will be go through the test in the, in, the, in the days just before the school opens. I think for the time being, we might just use the air hug or you know something like that. I think I think we need to keep the distances for the time being, and I think this is done for your safety and the safety of other. But I think you can look at them and you know you can see the smiles, you can see the cheer, you can shout and jump and and do all the things you want to do as long as you keep the distance for the time being. Times will come, and this is, will all be behind us, and we'll go back to 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 what makes us you know who we are, which basically. You know our social bounding and uh, not social distancing and and that's we look forward but for the time being enjoy celebrate do all the things you want to do keeping the distance and and the masks are on i think look it's not only what's happening in the schools because some of the schools offering blended models because of the capacity and, 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 and the resources you've got to. But we find the same thing happening at workplaces today, whether they are government or private. There is different type of working style, whether the flexibility on the hours or the timing or working from offices or working from home. So I think, I think this sort of blended working model fits very well with the blended uh, uh, learning that we have. And we hope that these two models complete each other. I think all of us want to go back to work and we want to be productive but all of us also want to make sure our our kids learning doesn't doesn't stop whether it is uh, at the school or, or or at home you know and i think in the last six months we basically have everybody in their home has a school and that's very interesting for us and we want to continue to have that you know uh, so i think that both the working model and the learning model will come together to, to serve our kids the best uh, and give them the best options uh, we can offer Yeah, I mean, I think our experience on the last term uh, for distance learning is something will stay with us. We do understand today some students and some parents want to continue the distance learning. Uh, they could have uh, some medical uh, conditions or they could be just simply worried and not not comfortable at this point of time. So it's perfectly okay. And I think the distance learning as an option is going to stay with us, especially at the very beginning until things uh, get better for everyone. So it is an option, and as I said, it's gonna stay with us for a very long time because it's a comforting stage uh, and it's a nice flexibility for parents to exercise. I think regarding the fees, I think the school has costs, and, and I think we have to understand that, that there are uh, teacher salaries need to be paid, whether the teacher is teaching online or, or on the physical, and there's others. So I think the choice of you making on a distance learning should not impact the, the, the fees at all. But I think we understand that many schools putting different packages right now to understand the parents who have been affected financially during the COVID-19 or other reasons. We highly encourage the parents to have discussion, confidential discussion between them and the school. And I, I think for, for, the, for, for most of the school we talk to, they are really keying on, on helping out as much as possible. So this is the kind of conversation we'd like to see between the schools and the parents themselves. I, I think I think the feeling you you I, I felt this morning after visiting the school, you know, and I think like yeah, we are back, we are alive, you know. You, you feel you feel a good energy 
that you've been there, you, you, you're gone now, life starting all over again for you. So this is a good feeling that you will get after the first day of school. And I think, I think this feeling will grow with you as, as, as the first week uh, of, the, of the school and why. But it's very important that, that yes, there, we have the precautions, we have the measurements, they are on place, we're going to all adhere with it. But also to understand this exciting time. We're going to see people we haven't seen in six months. You know, we're going to share stories, we're going to talk about it. We've gone through experience that none of us have done before. So let's focus also on the positive side of going back and seeing our friends and meeting them and sharing the laugh and everything comes with it it's just just, there is a joy there will be a joy uh, but we have to keep our distances for the time being and 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 respect the protocols in the place so uh, we're very excited uh, i think and and, then the kids who will go in the first school will come back home and tell the stories and and talk to to the parents and and talk to other schools who couldn't go to school for for whatever reason i mean i will look for the stories and uh, please share it with us we'd like to 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 put it on our social media because it's, it's, it's such an important day for all of us Yeah, uh, higher education sector will open uh, alongside the school opening. Uh, they, they're usually they have different dates based on, on the branch or the mother campus they are connected to. But they are all going to be back. They have a protocols uh, just like the school do. Uh, and I think, you know, they, again, they, they will use a lot of distance learning because that's very common on, on, on universities, especially if the faculty are abroad or you have multi-campuses. Uh, scattered around the world. So yes, they will be back and I think they will also be excited. They will see each other now live uh, and connect with each other. I know, I mean, I think we, we had various conversations with all the experts around, but they all say the same thing. For the time being, this is your best uh, defense. This is the thing that can uh, protect you and protect your loved ones. For the time being, it's important to wear it. I think time will pass before you know it. It will be behind you and you don't have to, or you have it. You'll just be for fun later on. But for the time being, please keep it on for your own safety and the safety of the others. I think, look, I think we're very excited, but we are very nervous at the same time. And I think this is a good feeling for all of us. Uh, to go here because I mean we have never stopped for six months you know not not to have a school so it, it is it is a lot of time and, and there is a lot of excitement and there's a lot of worries but I think these two feelings somehow they interchange with us but I think for, 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 for us it's very important because when you when you back to school you back to life and you will get that feeling it just takes some time to, to, to get to get more comfortable to adjust it but yes we miss school then we miss our teachers and we miss the friends and we miss the stories we we miss all the excitement that comes to going back to school so this is very important times and and i think in times like this we just have to adhere to the standards and the protocol in the initial stage in the few months ahead of us till this has become things of the past and we look back at this and, and we tell stories that how we've gone, I've gone through this part of time. But honestly, everybody is, 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 is excited to go back. Yes, we are cautious, but we are excited and, and, and we really want to go back to life. Yeah, it's very important, I think, uh, for the nurseries uh, because this is people want to go back to work. And, you know, they want their kids to be in the nurseries. We have teachers who want to go back and teach in the school. They also have ch- younger children who want to go to nursery. Yes, I think as we go back to work, to school, to university, the reopening of nursery becomes very, very, very important to all of us. I think we are working with the federal authority right now on, on, uh, to finalize the protocol requirement and the timing of, 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 of the announcement, uh, we hope, uh, very soon.